the simplest way to check whether VX uh, environment is configured and the disks are known, we just say VX disk list. Okay. So we found out that we have so many disks, one, two, three, so many, maybe 14 disks. So uh, some disk says uh, online invalid, some disk says online invalid, some disks online, right? Online disks are already configured by Veritas. So already VX disk setup we have, we have typed and then it knows that, right? Uh, there are some disks which are CDS type, some disks which are simple, we'll talk about later, talk about these things later, right? And uh, another command I can say is, I want to check whether there is a, there is a process or daemon running related to VX, VX control, sorry, grep. VX config daemon is running. VX config D, VX config D daemon. This daemon is very important because whenever I make changes in the database, which has the configuration of Veritas, this daemon updates, writes into the database. If it is not, if it is not up, whatever changes you are making will not be updated, right? There's another one called, there's a command called VX D control, right? So this daemon, we can enable and disable, right? So now it is enabled. So I want to get a help. What are the options here? It, apart from enable, we have some other options also. Whenever you want help, you can say VXT, some, the command name and minus capital H or minus help, okay? It will give you the help or man page if it is there but usually man page is not installed here. So we have something called VXT control init, right? VXT control list, upgrade, all those things. So we will say list, see what, what, VXT control list. So wall boot file is already there. Last time when we had, we didn't have wall boot file. So I typed a command called VXDG init. Then it updated the file configuration and solved the problem, right? So VXDG init is the command I typed last time to solve the problem, okay? And also version, and also gives the cust ID, okay? All those things. Is it enabled? Is it enabled? VXD control, enabled. Now I'm going to disable it. So I will say VXD control, Disable. Disable. Is it disabled now? Now check the daemon whether it is running. The daemon is running. But I'll type the command. Whether we we'll see now that the command is working now. It didn't work. No, sorry. I'm talking about the other one. VXDX list. It didn't work. So when I, when I, when I stop the controller, right, my things will not work. This cannot be, uh, is, it's not working, right? When I type a command called CFG Adam, configuration Adam can be typed in a Solaris machine. Unix machines have this command. This command will show all the controllers you have. So this shows that we have so many controllers. We have controller 0, controller 1, 2, 3, 4, and then other ones. Okay? All of them are connected. I think we have local local hard drives. How many local hard drives we have here? Four, I think we have here. And then one control is used. This is, One of them is connected to the SCSI. We will check which is connected to the SCSI. SCSI. I will type a command for all format, you know that command, okay, to see all the hard drives. So we have so many hard drives. Uh, I know, I want to know which is local hard drive first. So let me, uh, so lot of hard drives are in C3, lot of hard drives are in C3, right? So this is the disk array. These are the hard drives in the disk array. So 
So discard is C3. And these are the local hard drives. Four local hard drives. All these hard drives are not showing any error message. So most probably almost everything is working. Maybe. Maybe partition table corrupted, I don't know, but looks like not corrupted, right? It shows the geometry. How many cylinders, how many head and all. So this it shows the values. Now out of these four local hard drives, one of the hard drive I should not touch. Which hard drive I should not play with? Root. So how will I know which is root? Did you go to the website and watch the video or what? My video. <laughs> okay, say so df minus. So I will say f ufs. So I want to see all the file systems, local file systems which are mounted. So I found out c2 t0. So write down this please c2 d0. Don't touch that hard drive because that hard drive is where your operating system is work, installed. So if you go and VX uh, uh, this setup with that hard drive, what will happen to you think? So don't do that. Only one hard drive is used. That is C2 T0. So now we type, now we, we will enable VXD control, enable and type I disabled before it. Right? Try to enable it. It checks everything. Okay. So I said enable. Now I take VX disk list. So now I will see all the hard drives back. We have found out that this hard drive is it's not initialized. So I wanted to initialize that. Okay, before that I have to know which, which hard drive is uh, operating system. C to T0. C to T0. Yeah, first one. So for our good sake, the first one don't touch. But write down, it's not going to be always first. When you change the format of your output, this may be somewhere in the middle. So you have to write down this, controller 2, T0, write down, okay? Okay, now I wanted to, I wanted to initialize this now. How will I do it? Can you give me the command? etc vx bin, because I told you that command is in that path, vx disk setup okay minus i and then that one don't put s we are talking about disk so don't put slice this is the command which is going to initialize this enter It is going to wipe out all the data and it's going to create two partitions, private and public. Public will have all the data, private will have the configuration information. And now they are called partitions. We will try this command, whether, whether we can see VX print, not VX print, uh, PRT volume table of contents dev this k s0 something so we found out that we have a tag called 15 and this we have a, another tag 5 
So this is the private region. Okay. So it, it, it wipes out everything what we had before and created only two partitions. And the tags are 15 and 5 here. 15 is public, uh, private. This means your configuration information is in 15. Okay. Five, five is bigger. P private, uh, public is bigger. Okay. So, 15 is a public or private? Right? 15 is a tag, name. It's not the uh, size. Name, right? So, now I will list again. So, when I listed, I found that it has become online. Earlier, it was online, invalid. I think there is a problem in this hard drive. Let me try to initialize that. Okay, it says online invalid. I think that is corrupted. So I will first check whether how the partition information there C3, P8, D0, S0. I want to see. I, I know that may be corrupted, right? It looks okay here. Okay. Let us, let us try to initialize it. So I will initialize. What is the, what is the number I gave? I forgot. Oh, this is the one, right? So I am going to initialize this. C3, this one. Okay. So go up. 